Good morning, you guys. I pray that everybody did go out and vote. If you did not, you don't have a voice. Um, I also want to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to the celebrities who actually made things happen for people that really, you know, they wouldn't have voted. But because they were pushing the issue, we had celebrities pushing the issue. I feel like that made a big difference in a lot of things. Um, not saying that, oh, th just because I seen them do it, I did it. No, they were actually sending out some encouraging words. They were, they were sending out positive messages um, for everybody. And because they used their platform in a good way this time, I want to salute them to the fullest because they did not have to do that. And I pray that not only the celebrities uh, voted, I pray that everybody that could vote went out and voted. Here in Louisiana, I know it is a Republican state, so I knew that Trump was going to get Louisiana. He always, I mean, Republicans always do. When he came down here and he had the rally, I knew that was his way of getting more Republicans to vote for him. And he did just that. He got Louisiana. But I feel like because the world has been through so much hurt, which within these four years, I feel like, you know, it, the way it's going right now is how it was going to go anyway. God knows exactly what we need. He knows what we've been through. That's from this pandemic. That's not even only just from, from this pandemic. That's from losing jobs. That's from, you know, when we went, just think about it. One time we had went um, without um, government assistance for what? It was almost a week, two. You weren't able to use your cards. Just think about that. I mean, it, it's, it was a lot that we went through. And not only the Democrats were hurt, the Republicans were hurt too. That's why if you, uh, if you are watching CNN right now, they're telling you some of those states that were red changed blue, turned blue because they actually went through this this time. They feel the hurt. We are not the only ones feeling the hurt. Democrats are not, you know, the only ones that, that are going through things right now. We have Republicans that are going through things. Republican that has lost businesses due to this pandemic that has that could have been stopped if you would have opened the envelope. Simple as that. If you would have this, if you would have just stepped up and did your part. As simple as that. So yes, I mean I feel like with the votes that are, um how it's going right now, the polls. I feel like everything happens for a reason. It's happened like that because it was meant to happen. I don't know who's going to win. I don't know if Biden going to win. I don't know if Trump going to win. But what I'm watching right now, the way it's going, I knew it was going to go like that. Because America is hurt right now. We can ride up and down the road with Trump flags on our um, cars, with Biden flags on our cars all we want to. But if we don't step up to do our part, it's no use to doing all of it. If they don't become president and do what they're suppo they are supposed to do, why are we why are we voting for him? It looks good to have Trump as our president because all the money he has, but is he up there doing what he's supposed to be doing? That's the same thing goes for Biden. Biden says he's doing, he's gonna do this, because he's gonna do that. Where preferably he get up there and do his part. This will be his first time. Don't file Biden for um some stuff y'all are making up saying that um that saying that Obama did or what Biden did, don't do that. Don't bring up things his children did. Let's give him a chance. Just like we stepped back and we gave Trump a chance to run the world, let's st step back and let Biden run the world if he wins. It's time for us to step back, pray, stick together because our lives matter. It's time for us to do our part as Americans. The land of the free, the home of the... It's time for us to stand back and do our part. It's time for us to step in. When we see things that are going wrong, it's time for us to step in to do our part. When we see these police officers treating these black men wrong, it's time for us to step in and do our part. Not only just citizens, everybody. 
It's time for us to step in to do our part. We are getting people, um, they are sending people to jail longer for selling drugs than, to, to, than murdering. Then they are sending murderers to jail, but they'll turn around and let the policemen out on bail or out after killing somebody like Breonna Taylor. It's time for us to step up and do our part. It's bigger than this election. The world gonna be ran either way it go. God is gonna run this world, but it's time for us to step up and do our part as Americans, for our children, for our grandchildren, for our cousins, for our aunties, for our mothers, for our ancestors. It's time for us to do our part. 2020 has been the worst year ever. When COVID hit, look how many deaths Look how many deaths we had. And every day the numbers are going up, 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 up. But for a president to sit there and say, um, by February, it's going to be this many deaths. That don't even sound good. For a president to tweet every, every five minutes, you're not running the world right. It feel like you are playing games with us. We sit up and we praise Trump, 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 Trump. But what is he doing for us? What, have he, what has he done for us? He gave us that stimulus, that one stimulus, cool. But who says, um, I gave you that one stimulus, but the only way you're going to get the other one, if you vote for me or after election. Who says that? But little does he know, we don't need that stimulus. Thank you for the first one, but we don't need that stimulus. We need you to run this world right. That's what we need you to do. And I'm so glad that, like I said, the celebrities has used their platform in a positive way, and they're trying to encourage us to do the right thing. Businesses has closed that would never open again because they are so f far back. We have had um, Latinos Split, split up at the borderline, the children are still there with no parents. But we look over things like that. We don't see that kind of, th those kind of things broadcast on the news all the time. But what we see is Black Lives Matter. What we see is Blacks killing Blacks. But what we don't see is what needs to be in front of our face. The Latinos are not, the Latinos' lives matter too. We have children that has been separated from their family for I don't know how long. And then for our president to get up there and say, oh, they're in good hands. How are you in good hands, but you was taken away from your mom at the border? The last time I seen they was wrapped up in fall. You don't believe me? Google it yourself. They were took, taken away from their family at the border, wrapped up in foil, and now they, their, their family gone back and they're still there. Google it. Y'all see all this wrong and other things, but it's stuff right in front of us that you don't see any wrong in because it looks good. It's time for us to stop thinking just because things look good that it's good. Yes, President Trump looked good with that red hat on his head. But is he doing what he's supposed to be doing for America? You shutting down the borderline, putting get fence and gates up around the borderline, trying to keep them from out here. How is that helping us? You did all of that and still you say China sent this disease over here as airborne. But all of your work that is done is through China. I don't know about y'all, but something is wrong with it. I'm glad I voted. I'm glad I encourage other people to vote. I actually took some people with me to vote. And I just feel like helping one another at this time is more important. No matter what color you are, black, white, Mexican, Chinese, Hispanic, whatever. But I feel like right now we need to unite. Everybody is equal. 
It's too much division in America. That's why it's going run, being ran like this. Until we get somebody up in the office that care for people, it's going to always be like this. In the last four years, just being honest, he ain't cared about blacks, whites, nobody. Just being honest. And y'all want to say the same thing, but because your family is breathing up and down your neck about Trump, 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 and Biden, 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 you're going to vote for Trump. When you know that you need to give Biden another chance, what's the worst that can happen? We've been through a pandemic a whole year. Come March. But y'all don't see that. Okay. Well, I just want to send that out to you guys. Pray that everybody voted. Sit down. Watch the election. Keep your fingers crossed. It's time to make a change.